Hair loss is either a sign of deficiencies or toxicities. Here's what I'm doing to get to the root cause. Pun intended. First step is blood work. I'm retesting my thyroid to see if there's any signs of a sluggish thyroid that's potentially slowing my hair growth. I'm also rechecking hormones since imbalances, especially excess androgens, are one of the most common causes of hair loss. Now, last time I had these checked, everything looked good, but I'm running labs again tomorrow and also testing serum DHT. DHT is a metabolite of testosterone and if it's too high, it can shrink hair follicles. Another big factor of hair loss is inflammation and autoimmunity. Last time I checked, my CRP and full CBC were excellent, which is huge for me considering I was once diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. Shout out to diet and lifestyle. Now, because hair is built from proteins, vitamins, and minerals, if you're low in certain ones, growth can slow or even stop. Last time, my vitamin D levels embarrassingly came back a little bit low, so when I test again tomorrow, I'm also adding a micronutrient panel to check zinc, copper, selenium, magnesium, B12, and folate. I'd be surprised if anything was flagged in this panel because my micronutrients are pretty dialed in and I've been taking Mary Ruth's, which contains many of those nutrients, and it's been working, but I wanna be thorough. Also, if you wanna get this stuff for 30% off common Mary Ruth's. I also have a Dutch test scheduled for tomorrow to get more insight on my hormones and my stress response. These are really good tests to consider because they can reveal issues that blood work might miss. If all of those come back solid, the next step is looking at toxicities. Personally, I do a mycotoxin urine test, specifically since I've been living on the beach where exposure is more likely. Then if needed, I might run an oligo scan for heavy metals and potentially a stool test to see if I'm having any absorption issues, which I don't suspect, but you never know until you test. I'm of course doing all the basics like sleeping well, managing stress, hydrating, eating well, exercising, filtering my water, and even using red light. But if there's anything I haven't mentioned that's helped any of you, I'm curious to know so I can speed up the process.